On this episode of You Eat, we will be making a New York strip steak sandwich Italian style. I'm not sure if you ever had a sandwich like this, so stay tuned. Spend some time with your family and watch this recipe, and make sure you watch to the end. Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 48 of You Eat. As usual, I'm excited to have you here, and I appreciate all your support. I'm Chef Dave, and thanks for stopping by. I hope that everyone's enjoying their summer so far. Today was a beautiful day, and I was feeling really good, and I was thinking, hmm, what can I make today? And then I remember referencing uh, making a steak sandwich when we made the strip steak brajol. So guess what? That's what we're making. We're going to make an Italian-style steak sandwich, and it's going to be awesome, and I'm really excited, and I'm ready to make this recipe. Are you ready? Here we go. Print all our recipes on yeat.tv. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to get started, we're going to pound out the New York strip steak. Now, I've been letting this meat sit out on the counter to get the room temperature and warm down. Also, after I pound it down, the friction from pounding will also warm up the uh, steak and then we're going to marinate it. I'm going to try to get it as flat as we can without, you know, really ripping it to shreds. And then we're going to cut it in half. So I'm going to cut the steak long ways because I have some nice Italian bread and I want it to fit nicely on the bread. Okay, now we're going to make the marinade. So we're going to add a little extra virgin olive oil. We're going to add some soy sauce. And what's the two hardest things to say? I was wrong and Worcestershire sauce. So we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce as well. And a little salt, some black pepper. We'll add some garlic to the marinade. Fresh parsley and some basil. We could use the stems as well, it's fine. We'll add the fresh chopped parsley and basil to the marinade. We're going to add some oregano. We're going to add some smoked paprika. You don't have to marinate this too long, but the longer the better. I would say you can just leave it out for about 30 minutes. If you marinate the steak overnight in your refrigerator, it will be even that more awesome. All right, so while this is marinating, I'm going to cut up the peppers and the onion. We're going to cook them off, and then uh, we'll cook up the steak and we'll eat it. So to clean the pepper, I just, you know, you could cut this part here, but it doesn't get a lot of waste. I just cut it in half and I just pull this out. Either way, I think you can figure out how to cut a pepper. I just like to try to take this inside out a little bit. The white part. It's perfectly good to eat this part, but just clean it up a little bit. I'm going to cut these into thinner strips this time. Okay, so we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil to the saute pan. And we'll start adding these peppers in. We're going to cook these off with some, some of the onions and some seasoning. Okay, let's start cooking the peppers. And we'll cut up the onion and throw the rest of this uh, oregano in with this mixture. We're going to add a little salt. Pepper. Now I'm not going to need all these peppers uh, for my sandwich, but they're good to go on the side. They're good if you refrigerate them, you can eat them the next day or with some bread or the leftover bread that you might have. Okay, so we're going to take this on you with a cut thicker slices with it. Not too thick. So 
Okay, that had more extra virgin olive oil. Steak sauce looks very nice. It's going to cook very quickly in the steak. It's very thin. You want to cook the peppers so they're almost cooked. You don't want them mushy. Like 90%, 85, 90%. We're going to chop up the rest of our parsley and basil and add it to this mixture here. Okay, so this is about where I want it. Maybe a little bit longer. I always like to grab my favorite bread. Your favorite bread might be something different. So this is just about done. We're going to move the peppers and onions off the heat and we'll put the, put the cast iron pan. We'll crank that up until it starts to smoke. The only thing I have to do with the arugula is gonna put a little salt and pepper on it. I'm gonna add a little um, extra virgin olive oil at the end. I'll add the oil at the end. I don't wanna soak it all soggy. But we can prep up ahead of time. I only need one of these for a sandwich, so I'm just gonna cook one. And get some of that garlic on there. Now, if you don't have good ventilation in your kitchen, your smoke alarm will go off. You can always put this on the grill. Put the cast iron on the grill, get it really hot, and cook it outside. So I've sliced provolone cheese. I got picante. It's a uh, boar's head brand, and it's the sharpest sliced cheese I think you can get. So you're going to sear the steak for about two minutes on each side. Oh, look at that. This is not your typical steak sandwich that you get, like a Philly cheesesteak. Okay, we can shut that down. It fits perfectly. We're going to add some of these peppers and onions. And then we're going to cover both sides of the bread with the cheese. We're just going to pop this in the oven until the cheese melts. I'm going to take the rest of this with me. I'm going to take the rest of the steak with me as well. I'm going to continue to marinate. Okay, we're ready to pull our steak sandwich out. The cheese is melted. Uh, look at that. That looks awesome. The only thing I have left to do, besides eat it, we want to put a little bit of this, we're going to put some extra virgin olive oil, the arugula, we'll mix it up a little bit, we're going to put this on top. And the very last thing before we eat it, give a little balsamic glaze. Epic New York strip steak sandwich, Italian style. You eat, you want to eat, make this recipe. It's delicious. Okay, let's give this a taste test. I am ready for this. Are you ready? This steak sandwich is bursting with flavors from all, all angles. You gotta make this. So that's it. That wraps up this week's episode of Dave's Italian Steak Sandwich. I uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. It is really, really delicious. Uh, I, love, I love strip steak. Use whatever kind of cut 
a beef that you like, you can go with a ribeye. The ribeye um, is a delicious steak, very tender, a little, little fatty to my liking, but people love it. I prefer the strip steak, but you know, do your thing. Anyway, um, we'll be off next week. Uh, we'll be traveling. We'll be back for our uh, 49th and 50th episode, and that'll be our one year anniversary. Um, so we're excited about that. Thank you everyone for uh, starting to build up our subscription. We've had an increase of almost 50 subscribers in the last week. Thank you for getting us there so we can start our promotion as soon as possible. Again, once we reach that 1,000 subscriber mark, we'll start giving away kitchen items each month. And all you need to do is to subscribe to qualify. Uh, and that's as long as we go. And as our channel grows, so will the sizes of the prizes. I really appreciate all your support. We won't see you next week, but we'll see you the following week. You have a great two weeks, and we'll see you in two weeks. Have a great couple of weeks. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Here's an offer you shouldn't refuse. Subscribe to this channel.